Hi, Professor Nishimura's class. My name is Stephanie Rosenblatt, and I'm one of the librarians at Cerritos College. Your professor asked us to create a LibGuide, which is a web page that will help you do the research for this class. So let's take a quick tour of it. What we're looking at right now is the LibGuide made for your class. And I want to highlight a couple of things on it. The first thing I want to show you is this link over here on the right hand side that says chat with a librarian. If you click on that link, a little box will slide out. You just put your name in there and you will be talking to a real librarian. You can IM with them or they can launch a Zoom and you can share your screen and we can share our screen and we can help you just like you were here at the library with us. If you are on campus, if you scroll down, you'll see a link to our hours and you can come in and talk to us in person. The next tab is our getting started tab and on this page are some resources that we recommend for learning more about a topic. So one of them is opposing viewpoints and context and when you go in there you'll see um, all of the resources that you would need to write your paper. Um, it has everything from encyclopedia articles to news articles to scholarly research to webinars and videos. So that might be all you need. But if you want more information than that, if you click this gathering information tab, we have three more um, sources that we think will help you out. Um, two of our biggest article databases and then our library catalog. In this video up here, we'll show you how to search it and also how to create um, more narrow or specific search terms. We also give you some sources of statistics. Um, so we looked for um, different research groups that research social media in the United States, um, including the government, and we provided you with links to those sources. The next tab that you're going to see is one for Canopy videos. So we subscribe to a ginormous streaming video platform called Canopy. Um, we've highlighted a few videos that um, we think are interesting and related to the impact social media has on our lives. But you can find more either by searching our library catalog or by going to the Canopy streaming site. And if you have any problems logging in or setting up Canopy the first time, directions are here, but like anything else, when you get stuck, just grab on this um, chat with a librarian link and we will help you through any problems you might have. The next tab is evaluating sources. Uh, you guys are on social media. You already have your own process for um, deciding whether or not you're going to trust something that you come across. But sometimes um, doing scholarly research um, is different. You don't have the sources, that list of sources that you already know to trust yet. Um, also, maybe it's better for all of us to be a little more thoughtful about what we consume and read and share online. And so on this page, you're going to learn about um, the fact check model, which is a very fast way to decide if you're going to trust um, a source or not. It takes less than five minutes, really 90 seconds or less. My favorite part about it is in step one, investigate the source. Um, so you see where the uh, story is coming from. And then if you don't know it, or you're not familiar with that source, you can just either type in the URL or the name of the source, make a space, click, type in Wikipedia, and you'll get a Wikipedia entry on the source and you can get a good idea of what it's about. If there isn't a Wikipedia entry on the source, that says something too. Um, so you might wanna check these um, videos out to learn a little more about misinformation, malinformation, and how we can fight um, you know, accidentally sending out propaganda that we don't mean to send out. And last but not least, in your class, you need to cite your sources because as a scholar, you have to let other scholars know where you got your information from. And that tab, tab takes you to the MLA Style Center and it shows you model citations by format. So citations um, based on what you're looking at. If you're not sure what you're looking at or if what you want to cite isn't on this list, just like everything else, just come right back to the LibGuide click on this link to chat with a librarian and we'll help you out. So I hope that the sources um, help you write your paper. And if you get stuck at any time, please come to us for help. Good luck.